With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's start the question. The question says, evaluate the integral of x squared plus 1 by x minus 1 minus 1 squared times x plus 3 dx. We are supposed to integrate the function x squared plus 1 divided by x minus 1 the whole square times x plus 3 with respect to the variable x. Let us call this integral i. The first thing we can do is separate this integrand using partial fractions. So x squared plus 1 divided by x minus 1 the whole square times x plus 3 is equal to a by x plus 3 plus b by x minus 1 plus c by x minus 1 the whole square. Multiplying both sides by this denominator here, we get that x squared plus 1 is equal to a times x minus 1 the whole square plus b times x plus 3 into x minus 1 plus c times x plus 3. So let us expand this. We get this as a times x squared plus 1 minus 2x plus b times x squared plus 2x minus 3 plus c times x plus 3. This will simplify us. When we take the quadratic terms common, we get a plus b. Taking the linear terms, we get minus 2a plus 2b plus c plus the linear terms will be a minus 3b plus 3c. Comparing coefficients, we get that a plus b is equal to 1 minus 2a plus 2b plus c is equal to 0 and a minus 3b plus 3c is equal to 1. We get the solution of the system as a is equal to 5 by 8, b is equal to 3 by 8 and c is equal to 1 by 2. Hence, our integral which is equal to integral of x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1 whole square times x plus 3 is equal to a times the integral with respect to x of one by x plus three plus b times the integral with respect to x of one by x minus one and c times the integral with respect to x of x minus one the whole squared. This will be equal to 5 by 8 times integral of 1 by x plus 3 with respect to x plus 3 by 8 times the integral with respect to x of 1 by x minus 1 plus half times the integral with respect to x of x minus 1 hold the power negative 2 or 1 by x minus 1 the whole square. This will be equal to 5 by 8 times the natural log of x plus 3 plus 3 by 8 times the natural log of x minus 1 
plus half times x minus 1 to the power negative 1 divided by negative 1 plus the constant of integration c. We can condense the two logarithms to natural log of x plus 3 to the power 5 by 8 times x minus 1 to the power 3 by 8 minus 1 by 2 times x minus 1 plus constant of integration c. Hence, hence we can conclude that the integral of x squared plus 1 by x minus 1 the whole squared times x plus 3 is equal to the natural log of x plus 3 to the power 5 by 8 times x minus 1 to the power 3 by 8 minus 1 by 2x minus 2 plus constant of integration c. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.